only have a read permission. To access the recycle bin, you minimum require an edit permission to see this recycle bin itself. Now to recover the document which sent to recycle bin, you need again an edit right on a document itself. So now when I logged in with the Tom, I am able to see a recycle bin document. But it said that, hey guys, no document for you. Because on site level, I have given a permission to Tom as a edit right. But still at a document level, Tom do not have an edit right. So when I logged in with the user like SP admin, who has edit right on a document, I am able to see that this document is free now. So only the user who can recover the document, first recycle bin is only visible to the user with edit right. To recover the document from the recycle bin, we need edit right on document itself. If there is no edit right I have on a document, I cannot see the document in the recycle bin. So that is the reason why for a term, number one, for a term, there is no recycle bin. For, for term, there is no recycle bin. Sorry, for a team, there is no recycle bin. For a term, they have a recycle bin, but they are there is no document for the term. So this is how the whole permission going to work. And this is why it is important that by mistake, no one should delete the document. And even if they delete the document, who is gonna recover? It's a normal user or it's a every user. In SharePoint, even to recover the document, you need a right. So I have a scenario now where my user have a three documents, which called doc one, doc two, doc three. All three documents deleted by the user. So the moment he delete the all three documents, it is gonna sit in user recycle bin, which is a stage one recycle bin. So we see that all these three documents is now available in a stage one recycle bin, which is a user recycle bin. Now this recycle bin is only visible to the user with a bit right. And what we did now, from here, we recover document number one. So doc one has been recovered. So user has recovered the doc one. But what the user does that? They actually delete the document from the recycle bin itself. So document two, they delete this document from recycle bin itself and leave the document three is still in the recycle bin. So document three is gonna stay in the recycle bin for 14 days, still in recycle bin. Now this specific document, which is deleted by user from the recycle bin it is still not deleted. Yeah, but it has been gone away from the view of, it is gone away from the view of user, but still the document has available for site collection administrator to recover from their recycling. So document has been moved from 
user recycle bin to site collection administrator recycle bin. So now this is a site collection administrator recycle bin. which is only available or visible to site collection administrator, not for any normal user or other privileged user. Now from here, I am able to, if I log into my site collection administrator recycle bin, I can see this document, doc2. This doc2, I now have a, two options to handle. Recover it or delete it. So when I decide to recover this document from my site collection recycle bin, document gonna back to this document library straight away. It does not take the root of site collection administrator to user recycle bin, it is straight away restore to original location, which is my document management system. So it is gonna restore to original location. So if as a site collection administrator, when I check my recycle bin, I found there is one document lying in my recycle bin. So I can take a decision. Should I go ahead and recover it? Or should I go ahead and delete it? So if I delete the document here, then there is no chance options available for anyone to recover this document furthermore, because the moment I delete from here, it is gonna purge from or remove from SharePoint infrastructure. Until and unless we have a backup, or we have put a legal hold, document will remove completely. And no ways even for a site level administrator to recover it because it is gone from the second stage of recycle bin. So in our scenario, in our scenario, what we see now, document three or document two has been moved to site collection recycle bin from my user recycle bin. Now who can access this site collection recycle bin? Only the site collection administrator. In our case, my SharePoint admin user is also a site collection recycle bin administrator. So go to a site, go to a site setting now. Monique, click a site setting. Now in a site collection administration, you see a recycle bin. Below, yeah. Yes. So document is visible to site collection recycle bin administrator. But this is document number one. Because this document number one is still, is still in recycle, user recycle bin. But where is the document number three? Sorry, document number two. It's not listed here. So below that you see now we have an option called second 
a stage recycle bin hit that one second a stage recycle bin so it means that i have an option where i can see that this a specific option is only available for the user for the site administrator to recover my document which is called second a stage recycle bin so in a sharepoint in a sharepoint we can see we have a two option to recover my document first a user recycle bin second a site collection recycle bin which generally we refer that a stage 2 user 1 a stage 1 user 2 a stage 2 so as a sharepoint site collection administrator i can go and hit this one and i can get my third second document which is not available for a user recycle bin to recover so click that one a second stage recycle bin hey i am able to see now the document number 2 this document number 2 is available for me and look at that what the original location it is going to give me that it is under a site backup so it means that whenever we delete the document it also capture the whole data from where you have deleted who has deleted when it was deleted so it means that we get the pretty clear information that this a specific document come from a backup site as a dms who has deleted system account because my sp admin is a system account when it is deleted on 16 for 2021 at this specific time so i can go to ring mr sp admin i found there is one document which is visible to me in my recycle bin was this important or should i remove so many time user surprise how he can see the document i have permanently removed that it means that i just share point administrator or a site collection administrator you have a ample privilege so let now restore this document select that one and say restore now because if you delete from here it gone it gone from everywhere on you select this document and restore this click restore yeah say okay it's coming on top okay all right go back to documents and check that you must have a two document now document number 1 sorry document number 3 and a document number 2 perfect now and still i have one document which is there in my recycle bin which is available which will be available till next 14 days and this document will be with this a specific recycle bin for a pretty long a time and even if it is deleted from here no worry still we have a chance to get my document recovered 
So by default, SharePoint implement such recycle bin feature, which allow us that accidentally, if I delete a document, I'm still safe because we have a ways and a means to recover it. Even if I intentionally delete the document, intentionally means I am a little bit technical user. I know that even if I delete this document, it is gonna sit in my recycle bin. And when it is gonna sit in my recycle bin, I can delete from there as well. And I think that it's gone. But SharePoint say, no, I still have a document in my control and I can see, I can recover the document by a SharePoint administrator. So this is what the document recovery word. Even if we delete accidentally, document gonna sit in my user recycle bin, which is called a stage one recycle bin. And when we delete from a stage one recycle bin, it is gonna sit in a stage two recycle bin. And from a stage two recycle bin, even if we delete, we have still have a two chances to recover. Either we have a backup or we have a legal hold running on my document management system. In both cases, still we are safe. So this is overall a backup a strategy plan, which we can plan and implement on my SharePoint. So let's have a break. When we come back, we will see what will happen if I delete list and what will happen if I delete site within my SharePoint, how it can be recovered, go not recover now, all right? Have a break. Relax, chill. I'm going to 10 minute break. I'm sub tea coffee.
<coughs> All right. So let me first remove this eraser, erase this. All right. So what we see now that if I remove this document, still we can recover that. Now let's do the second example where we are gonna delete the subsite itself. So go to the subsite. This time we are going to delete subsite. So go to subsite, Monique. <coughs> which is my child subsite we are now go to the system setting or site setting of this child site pretty good and now you have an option to delete this site under site action under site actions we have a last option which is called delete the site you say that it is going to delete everything now. Your document library, your list and list data, your website, your permission label, everything will be deleted from child side. I said, I'm all okay, hit delete now. Say, okay, my child site has been deleted now, go back to site. You won't see your child site now. So someone by mistake deleted the child site itself or my site itself. But still, we are having an option to recover it. Same, no change. Go to site content. Click recycle bin and we are going to recover that site. So we have a two option now. One again, I can go to site content and I can see I have a child site not there. My goodness. It is not showing me the child site in my recycle bin. Where it gone? For a document, when I delete, it comes to a user recycle bin. But when we delete a site itself, it is not going to sit in a stage one recycle bin. So where is my site? I can go to the site collection administrator recycle bin. And I can go to the second stage recycle bin. Here is my child site. So there is a difference now. When we try to delete a document, document related to a user, document related to a user, but site related to administration. So the difference between delete of the document and delete of the site is something which is Meaningful here. So for an example, when I create a site, this site is going to report to my root or a parent site. And since every information about the site, which include the configuration, which include a list and library, and which include all security whomsoever have done is basically 
a store into the configuration database of a parent site and where the parent site database is going to reside the parent database site reside in my database it's not like to user it's not like to document because when we create a document in a document management system document management system going to report to my site so that is the reason why when we delete any document i can still the recover the data from this site recycle bin so every site will have its own recycle bin so that is the reason why when i delete a data or especially the document since my document management system is a part of site it's not an independent service so my dms reporting is my site so it means that my dms gonna use site recycle bin while parent site also maintain their own recycle bin so it means that where whatever we delete in my document management system and since it is reported to site so by default it go and sit in site recycle bin but in case if i remove from here since the reporting pattern is site gonna report to a parent site so this information will come to parent site recycle bin and this is the reason why we have a stage 1 and a stage 2 a recycle bin a stage 1 belongs to a site a stage 2 belongs to a parent site but in recent case what we did now we actually delete this site itself and when we delete the site itself it does not it also remove the stage 1 recycle bin so where it is going to sit it is going to sit in a stage 2 recycle bin which belongs to a parent site remember your parent site is also a site so it means that parent site is going to hold two things one a stage 1 recycle bin and a stage 2 recycle bin since parent site is also a recycle is also a site so it has both recycle bin a stage 1 recycle bin and a stage 2 recycle bin but all the sites which is created within this parent site will have only one recycle bin and that is called a stage 1 recycle bin and this exactly create a hierarchy flow how we can go and recover a site from or recover something which is lost from here and what is the advantage we have now this parent site is going to store all their information including recycle bin information to the database so it means that if i have a backup of this database in case if someone remove the parent site itself if someone delete the parent site itself so when we delete the parent site a stage 1 also gone a stage 2 also gone nothing there but still information is stored in my database so if i have a backup of my database i can restore the backup and 
I'm gonna get my parent side back. So it means that this whole flow is going to work in this way. Either we have a DMS or a list. Both DMS and a list is going to work and report to my local site. Local site, every local site have own recycle bin. Likewise that every parent site, since it is also a site, it has a local recycle bin. But apart from that, since the parent site, it belongs to a root collection site as well, it also gets something called a stage two. So in case if I delete any document, any list from my, from my site, I can get that back or recover using site recycle bin, which is my a stage one recycle bin. But anything which go beyond the stage one recycle bin is going to store in root site recycle bin two, not in root site, a stage one recycle bin. That is the reason why when I delete a site, when I delete a site and when I come to a site content and when I check a recycle bin, it is not going to show me my sub site because this is local to this backup site. And my backup site is also a site collection root site. So it has both the recycle bin. This local recycle bin, which is site specific. And we also have another recycle bin, which is going to report or which is going to have for my root collection site. So this was, this is an hierarchy which SharePoint follow. And this is also give me a stage wise recovery process. A stage one, local site. A stage two, parent site. A stage three, database. But if, if I do not have a backup of database, then we are not protected against any misadventure or mishappening happen on my parent site itself. Then we lost all hope. We cannot go and recover it. So as a SharePoint administrator, we have to enable the backup for both my SharePoint site as well as my database. So that we can go and recover it back. So it means that if I come back to the parent site, recycle bin, and if I go and check, first, the local recycle bin belongs to a backup site. And then we are going for check that I have an option that yes, I have my child site here. So when I click that one and say restore selection, now it is no 